Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today's project is a Squire Champ 15 amplifier, and it's probably from the year 2000 or so. It's a made in Indonesia model, and I got this one again from a thrift store, like a lot of my other small amps. And it's got some issues, like just about every amp that comes from a thrift store. It's got scratchy pots, the volume cuts in and out at particular levels. The gain channel is almost unusable and it's just got plenty of issues. So I'm gonna take it apart, clean it up. We're gonna replace a few parts and we'll see how things turn out. Even though I know most of the problems with this amp are on the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and give the outside a quick cleaning. I usually tend to use degreaser on the outside of Tolex because it removes a lot of the ingrained dirt and filth that's in here. But all I have on hand is 409. It works okay as well. It's more or less a degreaser. It's just not as powerful as some. All right, let's take this thing apart. Sometimes it takes a little effort to get the back off of these things because they're just so tight fitting, but I used the combination of a mallet to loosen things up and I used a screwdriver to kind of pry out of the existing screw holes and it, it eventually came off. And it should go without saying, but you definitely want to unplug the electricity uh, before you open one of these things up. When you're working inside an amp, it's best practice to only use one hand at a time and not both so that you don't get shocked through your hands and through your heart. Something I always look for on these is to see if these capacitors are expanded. There's a X mark on the top of these capacitors. These are the filter caps. And if they're bad, they'll usually bubble up and this X will either disappear or raise up. I like to look for that. These capacitors of this era are notorious for going bad. Well, other than a loose transformer here, I don't really see any problems. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean everything up with some contact cleaner. I'll probably use some pot cleaner on the pots and hopefully it'll start clearing up, but there's not much dust or any evidence of water in here. All right, well, I've got everything cleaned up in terms of the circuit board. I'm just gonna reinstall the parts. Now, when you're doing your disassembly or your reassembly, something that might not be immediately obvious is that the handle screws actually attach the chassis to the cabinet. And then um, on this particular one, my caps on the ends of the handle were very rusted. So I went ahead and replaced that with another handle that I had laying around. And I have quickly tested everything out, which means I'm ready to put the back plate on. All right, well, the case is all clean now, and I went ahead and reinstalled the knobs. I uh, just cleaned those up with some dish soap and a toothbrush. Now uh, I'm debating whether or not to replace the Squire logo with a Fender one that I have. Let me look and see if that's gonna even work. Here's kind of a closer up view of the controls of the Champ 15. It's got two inputs. In my experience, they do sound just a little bit different. So I'm guessing two is maybe a slightly lower gain input. It's got the uh, traditional gain and master volume with a channel switch in between the equalizer, treble, middle, bass, then a presence control, which in my experience just adds more mids. Then it's got an external speaker jack and a headphone jack. That external speaker jack in this unit is nice to have if you want to experiment with like a mini stack or something like that. I'm not sure that this is the best amp to drive a large speaker cabinet because it's only 15 watts, but at least you have that option. All right, well, ultimately I decided not to change out that Squire logo with the Fender badge that I did have because 
The Champ 15 is only sold under the Squire brand and it wouldn't look right, but it cleaned up really well. So the one thing I'll say about this little amp is that it's really a nice little bedroom practice amp for a beginning player, but that's about it. It's got good clean tones. It has really muddy distortion tones. That's not surprising given that it's very entry level and a practice type amp and it's a Squire brand after all. It's good for, you know, one of those package deals that you might buy that comes with a guitar and and something to kind of get as a Christmas present maybe for a little kid but it's not meant to be a professional amp by any means. It's nice and quiet. It's got good Fender sort of bell-like clean tones. <laughs> And, you know, it, it has a real nice, clean presence. It does not have very nice distortion. And it gets even muddier if you don't have any mid or presence in it. It's just terrible. So anyway, not meant to be a long demo by any stretch because uh, I'm not doing it any justice and it's not that great of an amp to begin with. But I did just want to show you the process of how you can take something that's on the brink of being thrown away and create something useful out of it and in the process, you know, kind of save it from the landfill. So uh, I really enjoyed cleaning this thing up. I hope you guys are enjoying my channel. If you do, give me a like, give me a comment on this video or better yet, Give me a subscription and I'll see you guys next time.